Hey Odoers, welcome back. Analytic accounting is a feature in Odoo that allows a business to track the financial statement of a business in different dimensions. So it provides an app to allocate the cost and revenues to a specific period, product or project or any department. So let's use the magic of music analytic accounting in Odoo 60. Analytic accounting help you track cost and revenues as well as analyze the profitability of a project or services. When creating your journal entries, the analytic widget allow the distribution of cost in one or more analytic account. So let's see how can we configure the analytic accounting in Odoo 16 accounting module. So for that, you can just get into the accounting module and let's move on to the configuration settings where we can enable the analytic um, account. So just drag down and you would be able to find a section called analytic where you can just track uh, the cost and revenues by project and department. So you can save the changes. So as you have saved the changes of analytic accounting, you can find an analytic accounting section under the configuration menu where you can create the analytic distribution model, analytic accounts and analytic plan. So let's see how can we manage the analytic plan. So here you can see uh, the plan that is created by Odoo. So here uh, now we are going to create a new plan and I'm going to create the plans based on region and uh, based on department. So let me create a new plan which is based on uh, the region. So I will be giving the name uh, of the plan as region. Now you can also set the parent of the plan. So parent will link your plan to another analytic plan to build a hierarchy between your plan. So if you want to give a, a parent, you can set that. So currently I'm keeping it as null so that uh, this plan will not be linking to any other plan and will not be creating any hierarchy. Now you can also set uh, the default applicability. So Odoo provide three default applicability which is optional, mandatory and unavailable. So if you select optional then it is not mandatory to add the analytic plan in the widget. If you are setting the default applicability as mandatory an orange bullet will be visible in the widget next to the plan until the analytic distribution is done and then the bullet turns to green and it is not possible to confirm the entry if no analytic account is selected. Now if you are setting the default applicability as unavailable then the plan will be not I mean will not be available in the widget. Now here you can also set a color uh, for your plan. So the color of the tag related to uh, this specific uh, plan and you can also choose a company. So if you add the company to which the plan applies, uh, like you can add a company over here so that the plan will be, uh, the plan will belongs to this particular company. Now we can also set an applicability, like we can set a domain and domain choose to which accounting document your plan applies and the financial account prefix uh, shows or select the prefix of the accounts to which the plan should be applied and the product category decide to which category the plan applies and applicability decides how your plan behaves in the widget when creating new journal entry and the app applicability uh, you set here also overrides the default applicability. Now uh, let's create uh, I mean set all other details so here I'm going to choose uh, the domain and I will be uh, setting this for Ventable that is my uh, domain is Ventable and here you can set a uh, prefix so I'm choosing the prefix as VB and if you want to set this plan for a particular category you can set that and I'll be choosing the plan as optional I mean mandatory uh, and um, yeah here the default applicability will be optional and uh, this one will be mandatory. Okay, now you can save the plan and this analytic plan um, that do not have any sub plans or analytic account. So sub plans can uh, be created uh, to have a more complex analytic structure. And uh, if you want to just create a new analytic account, you can create directly from here to reach the analytic account that is related to the plan. So here I will be creating two, uh, two analytic uh, plan that is Europe. So here you can provide the name and yeah, 
so here you can find that the plan and the company as well as the currency of this as well as you can also choose the customer over here so let me just create analytic account so let me create another one for us and let's save this now let's create another um analytic plan so let's move on and let's create a new analytic plan that belongs to i mean the name will be department and here you can fill out all other details so i won't be setting any domain over here now let me uh, just create a uh, certain analytic accounts for this so i will be creating an analytic account for sales and the other one will be finance and let's create one more which will be marketing afterwards you can just uh, save this so we have just saved the analytic accounting so analytic accounting as uh, accounts as nothing but they give an overview of your cost and revenue and uh, here you can also set the reference like add a reference to make it easier to find the account when you are on your bill and yeah now let's create a winter bill so in order to create the winter bill you can just move on to the vendors tab and click on bills here you can find the bills and we are going to create a new bill by setting all the details so i'm going to create a bill by choosing my winter who is abigail peterson and it is mandatory to give the bill date and i will be setting the date as today for the bill date and you can choose the product so let me choose the product as customizable desk and here you can see that we have a field called analytic where you can provide the analytic account and if this field is missing it's very simple to get that here you can find that we have enabled a field to be appear uh, in the window and here you can see that we have just enabled the analytic account so as we choose this here you would be able to find all the analytic accounts and here you can see the analytic plans that we have created so i can see that we have just created two analytic plans uh, with um, its analytic account and you can set any of them so here i am going to choose the um, region as europe and yeah united states i will be using both so i won't be applying 100 percentage uh, for this so i'm going to choose 70 percentage uh, for yeah 70 percentage for europe and 30 percentage for uh, us and if i need to set any particular um account like a marketing or sales or finance i can set that so here you can find everything now if you want to set this analytic account for a particular customer it's very easy to set that you can just click on this icon and here you can choose uh, yeah where you can choose a partner so uh, let me choose Abigail Peterson as my partner and let me save this so whenever I use the uh, partner Abigail Peterson you can see that analytic account will be automatically configured here now if I set like this and if I want to add one more product in the uh, product line, I can set that and you can see that uh, the analytic account will be automatically configured. Now, let me set the quantity and price of the product. So let it be 750 and you can see the uh, GST that is going to apply. So let me remove this field and you, here you can find the total price of the product and let's save and confirm the order i mean confirm the bill and you would be able to find the distribution and let's move on to the analytic plan or the analytic accounting that we have created so let's choose the analytic account that we have created and you would be able to find uh the yeah uh debit and credit that has happened for uh debit we have just made a 70 percentage of distribution and for i mean for the europe account 
uh, we have just made a uh, seventy percentage of distribution, and for the US account, we have just made a uh, thirty percentage of distribution, and that will be shown here. Now, if you want to get different uh, views, you can get that, and here you can see that the analytic account is currently in its list view, and if you want to get in it as in the Kanban view, you can also find that. And it's very easy to find the analytic distributions um, in each of the analytic plan with its balance. So it's very easy to manage the analytic accounting in Odo 16. So hope the concept of analytic accounting is clear for you. As always, stay awesome.